answer, and then uh, this will take a minute to write down uh, a couple questions. So. That was a interesting set of games. Nice way to put it. <laughs> it was very interesting. No, like I thought. Uh, thought Carlos was dead in game one, but Bunker is OP. Apparently, <laughs> that was pretty crazy. Yeah, I I thought he was going to push with more Marauders, so I, that's why I put a uh, second Bunker. Uh, bunkers uh, are OP by the fact that you don't see how many Marines are inside. <laughs> I figured out too late that he probably had one Marine in each or something. Yeah. <laughs> At which point, three SCBs wouldn't have made a difference. Well, there was a there was a point in time, though, he um, he went for a quick uh, command center. You probably could have pushed, like, a little bit earlier and maybe had um, maybe done something. That was... Um, yeah. Like, last last time we played, you made a, a earlier push. And my bunker no. wasn't pushed yet. No, your bunker was later last time. The push was 10 seconds earlier this game than last time. Really? Yeah. Huh. Well, I think in order to to, to pull a three, three racks versus a Terran, you have to hide the racks or at least deny the scout, like block your entrance before I, I get to see your base or proxy racks something like that that would have been scary right on all counts <laughs> but uh, uh, right on all counts but I wouldn't have changed my build either way so showing or not showing you <laughs> didn't make a difference So I know what I want to say, and I'm checking in with the chat, see if they have any questions. We'll maybe grab one if they do. If not, while we wait for that to happen, let's go ahead and get this started. So this is a kind of general question I tend to ask with pretty much every show match, and um, kind of a two-sided question. First, for this show match in particular, did you have anything you specifically planned or worked on? And second, the kind of the other side of this is how do you approach this matchup on ladder? So we'll just we'll reverse the power and we'll start with Carlos this time. Okay. So first, I did my my secure build, like the thing I'm very good at is mm -hmm. like racks and expansion. But I planned the. I said in the interview that I watched a build this morning that was a door drop. I never really do it, but I, I saw it, so I, I memorized the timings, and, and I tried, and it worked. Okay, well, pretty interestingly enough, the chat was like, Thor drop? Has he practiced the Thor drop? So we pretty much have answered their questions immediately. Awesome. <laughs> but, um, yeah, that was, kind of an, that was kind of an interesting build. Uh, have you ever tried that on ladder? I'm assuming no, because you just saw it. No, never. I, I saw the Muslim do it once, and I really, I think it was cool, so... Ah, okay, okay. So how do you, do you typically just go with the macro thing on ladder, then? Yeah, macro. Right. I used to be prepared for Banshees or Reapers. Hmm, okay. Yeah, but when I started the three racks, I was, like, few. Ah, okay, okay. Well, let's toss that over to you, Viper X. What is your plan? What was your plan for the show match? I look like you had kind of a build prepared, and do you do that all the time with ladder? Or do you play a different way, or uh, was it? How do you approach this? Well, uh, I got two builds that so far are the most successful. One is this build, and the other one is a macro build. Mm -hmm. Now, the macro build is. Let's say the most successful of my other builds, but it's like unsuccessful on a global scale. Ah. So compared to others, it's good, but it's bad. So this one is the most successful one, and I've practiced it much better than last time. And I don't know if that was noticed. Less supply block, if any. 
I, I it did more Marines than, than last time. Much more Marines. You know, to Maybe. be honest, I think one of the biggest factors there, whether it was like really visible or not, was the size of the map. Because you got there like usually I think just before maybe even just before like any SCVs were actually brought over to the first bunker or even maybe just as it's finishing. So like on a smaller map, you might get there before the defenses are really up at all. And that was like, I think that ended up being an issue, especially in Ultrazim because of how gigantic it is. But that, there was that. I don't, um, like, even if it was. Wait, somebody else wrote something in the chat. Hang on a second here. Uh, has any day early span ever crossed the mind of anyone on this map? <laughs> okay, so CRQ is just a little bit frustrated over the fact that nobody fast expands it here, I suppose. This map has only been featured in two matchups. And one of them was, uh, I don't think they knew how to do fast expanse, so it doesn't exactly count. <laughs> but, yeah, so th there was one thing I did want to ask, like, just kind of theorizing, and this is kind of an open question to either of you. That particular Thor build, when do you think it would probably not work? Uh, I think it, it wouldn't work if the other player was um, building, like, Marauders, Marines, and and Vikings. Yeah, because the Viking deny the the drop, so you can you can't escape anymore. So. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, uh, load and drop the Thor is the power the power of this build, and if you have a Viking or even if you play Protoss, you have a Stalker which has a longer range than a Marine. I'm not convinced that Zerg would do well against it. I'm not sure. The Queen may help with the drop and Zerg is made to the surround because the door turns slowly. So it may, but I'm not sure. But the Viking or a Stalker would, uh, would deny it. Yes, that is correct. Hmm. So one thing that I, I did see in the first game, which was you get to the front with your Marines and you see the, the bunkers there and you're like, oh, okay, and then you just go back home. I actually really like that you didn't push in there and just end up losing a bunch of army and not really getting anything out of it. So, what happened with the... Do you think that would have worked against the Thor drop in the second game if you had actually just gone back home? Or do you think you would have not gotten there in time? If I would have brought the army home in the second game? Yeah. Uh, the second game was uh, the same build but a bit refined on a, on a specific scale. Uh, the attack is not uh, at 6 minute mark, it's at 7 minute mark with much more, much many marines. Ah, forgive me, my English is bad. I got the idea. Uh, the thing is, uh, save money and build 2 racks at once uh, after the first 3. And have the 5 racks producing constantly, and then uh, you have like, instead of 8 marines, you have almost 16. And uh, uh, this was a build that uh, only works if your base is not attacked, because uh, you don't get. You have all your all your army there. You invested a lot of money in it, and you're getting it back, especially on Altrazim, it's uh, no chance. I was betting on the fact that Altrazim has an inside expansion, and he would probably expand. Okay. I imagine. And uh, besides the inside expansion being such a huge map, and finding that we are in opposite positions, I was betting that he would say, "Okay, he's not gonna push." Which was uh, obviously uh, bad thinking. It didn't quite work out this time. Well, anyway, um, thanks for playing, guys, as always. Um, I think that's going to be the last match for today. I w if it ended a little sooner, I might have just tried to grab Omi and Andy Citizen just do it now, but I don't think we're going to have quite enough time. So, uh, Okay, um, you guys.